you know, we have a disappointed locker room, and we have a disappointed coach and staff, and we have a disappointing fan base at the moment. But what I shared with our team was that I've been around uh, some teams that I felt like like they passed on the game. Um, <clears throat> they weren't resilient. They didn't tough it out. And it really felt like two or three times we won this game. And I know Jeff put a big shot in. Had he not, we'd be celebrating. And, and really falsely so, we all celebrated Leonard's steal and dunk at SMU, or perhaps we would not have been celebrating. And so I thought Riley's two free throws, and then Josh's two free throws with a lot of pressure on him, seven seconds to go, you know, wins the game for us. And then they made a great play, time's expired, ball's got to go in, and they made a great shot. Uh, I thought it was a great college game. I loved our atmosphere here, uh, and I, I compliment uh, really both teams. Uh, you know, we got a 10-point lead with 11 to play. They fought back. They had a 7-point lead with 3 to play. We fought back. And when Josh put those free throws in with 7 seconds, we have a comfortable 1-point lead. And, uh, you know, tonight it wasn't to happen. If it was to happen, the ball would have rimmed out or it would have been shot a tenth of a second later. Um, but to reiterate, I did not see lack of effort. I did not see lack of attitude, will or passion. So every day that we prepared for practice since November 1st, we put on the board, let's go to practice as if we just lost. With a mindset, with a practice focus, you know, and with the eye on the target. And so tomorrow we'll have to do that. We'll have to embrace that because that's life in this league. Well, Harry, on those last two threes that, that Jeff hit, did you feel like you guys were in good defensive position or did they just run really good plays? Or I know it happened so fast, but how did, how no, did you feel? They ran a great rip action on the second last play. Uh -huh. We were a little late. And, they, they, you know, again, you know, the action isn't nearly as cost-producing unless the shot goes in. So Jeff made both those shots. On the last play, I would have to look at it again. I think we're being driven pretty hard, and I think the instinct is to help. Great cross-court pass. And again, a, a one second later, and even if it does go in, it doesn't count. But it was a great shot at the right time. It hurts, it's a dagger, but you know what? Uh, again, I don't think there was any lack of effort uh, and that's what really would concern probably almost any coach. Well, Larry. What's the perimeter D tonight, coach, just in terms of, I know you like to challenge threes, make them take tough twos, but they shot a high percentage. They shot 58% of the three ball beat us, and early in the game they knocked in some tough ones. We came out the second half, I thought we did a great job. I think we got seven out of eight stops, or eight out of nine stops. But those last two uh, were the game winners, so... Um, uh, all I can say is the ball went in for them. I did, again, I didn't think that we were invisible. In other words, I didn't see that many wide open threes. Maybe one. Those were those were pretty effective shots that went in, and they were good. They were good shots. And like I said, the, the only thing I can do is compliment the opponent. I know Larry and. and uh... Uh, Leonard didn't, weren't as involved as much offensively in the first half. Looked like they were zoning, sagging down, and doing a good job. Is that what they were doing, and what were you able to do to get them, you know, going a little bit more in the, in the second half? We talked about that at halftime. We talked about us rushing a little bit. I think by hitting some of those threes early, we were a little frazzled, and it ill affected our offense. We were hurrying, so we talked about just slowing down, let the game <clears throat> come to us offensively. But we're going to have to win the game with stops. And I thought our guys came out and really grabbed a hold of the lead within those first five minutes by getting stop after stop and defensive rebound. And, you know, you could look at it that we were seven seconds away from doing that or we probably wouldn't ask some of the questions we are or we wouldn't be second guessing. It's the nature of the game. The questions were flopped in Dallas because we made the great play at the right time. Coach, you guys said that, you know, they're going to get better from this. And kind of already seemed to to you know, started to use this as, as fuel, I guess. How important is that, That you know, obviously there's all the talk of the streak and, and, and things like that, that they take this and use it in a, 
in a positive way for that motivation that you, that you talked well, about? Well, last game, I talked about, you know, if and when, and I think I was more with the when, we fall short on a particular night. I really hope we fall short in terms of the score and that we just ran out of time. I sort of feel like that happened tonight. I thought both teams played hard sack, but I was really proud of our team in particular, down seven with three to go, to put ourselves in position with seven seconds left to win the game. So it's hard for me, maybe in my 40s, I'd have been throwing chairs and screaming and yelling and cussing, but it's hard for me to do that if I know that they were connected and they were doing all the right things except, you know, they had the ball the last seven seconds. When you come into a game and find out that four players for their team aren't going to be there, I guess, does that change things at all? I mean, does that change your, your game plan or that you had played I don't think we. Uh, I don't think we did. I think we stayed with what we had talked about for two or three days. Obviously, there was a couple matchup differences, but uh, no, I thought they. I thought they did much of what they've been doing as well. Both teams sort of ran their stuff, defended as they usually do. There were no tricks. Um, they made one more shot than us. Coach, I know coaches don't like to look at rankings too often, but from a fan standpoint, you know, it seemed like you worked and worked and worked to finally get ranked, and then it has to sting a bit uh, to lose right after you get ranked, doesn't it? I, I wish I could tell you to appease you that, yes, that's quite important, somewhat important or not important, that I'll be kind and say, I hadn't thought of it until you asked. But I really feel like, you know, each game takes on its own personality, its own focus, and ours will flip here in about six or seven hours and turn towards Nevada. I really don't think our kids and I really don't think our coaches ever felt like that was out there. Um, it was an obvious, and uh, I think losing a game as 346 of the 349 have lost a game, I think it's how we use it. That doesn't mean the next opponent's not going to be bigger, better, better. But how do we embrace this tomorrow? Is our focus solely on Nevada, and, and that's what my goal will be, and our staff's goal will be, and I, I trust our players' goal will be. That doesn't guarantee us a victory, just like tonight when we made those two big free throws with seven seconds to go. There was no guaranteed victory. We needed one more stop, or we needed one more miss, or we needed one more bobble, and Boise came up with a big shot.